guys and welcome back to my channel. I am finally getting around to filming an updated house tour video for you and I just want to say before I even get into the whole house tour that we are not done doing everything to our house that we want to do. We're probably about like 50 to 60 percent of the way like updating and redoing and buying new furniture and things like that. So it's not completely done. I just want to like Put that out there before you look at my house and you're like okay well there's things missing or things that need to be done or whatever but i do want to say that we did buy our house as a brand new construction so we are the only people that have ever lived in it and we watched our house get built so we don't really need to do like renovations really it's just kind of like updating paint and buy new furniture and decorating and that kind of thing so everything that i'm going to be showing you guys is just like what we've done so far i made a house tour video like i don't even know when it was honestly i feel like it was probably around a year ago at this point but i will find the link for that and put it in the description box below and i'll also put it in the cards of this video so you guys can check that out and kind of see how far our house has come and one more thing before i get started i do want to say that i will try and link as many things as i possibly can um down in the description box below to show you guys where exactly we got everything because if you have been following me for a while or has been a subscriber of mine for a while you know that i am definitely a bargain shopper and i don't like to spend a bajillion dollars to do the things that i want to do so I will try my best to link as many things as I possibly am able to down in the description box below. But if you guys have any questions about something specific, I will try to answer that as well in the comments. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just start with the front door. Nothing has really changed here at all. I think the only thing I wanna do is maybe add a doormat and some kind of wall art on either side, maybe both. But other than that, nothing has really changed here. But I did wanna mention, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but we painted our entire like main living area. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say living area, just like the main part of the house. So we painted the walls and if I can find what color this is, I will link it down below, but I honestly don't remember. I just picked something out when we went to Lowe's, I think it was, but we painted the color and you can't really tell that much if you don't know what our house looked like before, but it literally looked like the color of the door on the wall and it was like just this chalky, like just not cute color. Actually, there's a couple of rooms in our house that are still that color, so I will kind of be able to show you the difference. But again, I think I just wanna add a doormat and then maybe some wall art. And then here, I'm thinking I wanna add a basket to put shoes in, but I'm kind of skeptical about doing that just because I feel like Anastasia will probably just fling the shoes everywhere, but I don't know, we'll see. Ideally, I would like to have one there. And then I also do want to add a runner here. I'm actually standing on a runner right now, but this one's like so dirty and gross and I just want to get rid of it, honestly. But we're just keeping it for now, but I do want to add a runner of some kind here. So the next thing that we got was this console table from Amazon. And let me tell you, this was so hard for me to find a console table that was not $500 that I liked because we found one at Target that was, I think it was like 120 and it was perfect. It was so perfect. I loved everything about it. And like we got it home when we tried building it and it literally just would not stay together. Like it just kept falling apart. It was like putting, like trying to build a card house almost. I don't know what was wrong with the pieces or what, but it just would not stay together. So we had to return it. And I ended up looking at Amazon. I found this one. I can't remember how, how much exactly this one is. I think it was, under 150 but I really, really love this one. And then this little bowl is just from Target. I found it on clearance, actually. I think it was like $10 on clearance at Target when I got it. And then this mirror, I absolutely love. This mirror is from At Home, and it was $40. I was actually really surprised. Oh my gosh, I look ginormous in this mirror right now. There's the bump. I was actually surprised that this mirror was this price because I was looking online for mirrors and looking in stores and things like that. and for whatever reason, like decorative mirrors are so expensive, but this one was a great price and I love the color of the wood. And I'm trying to kind of like incorporate like the not matching wood colors because I think it just makes your house look a little more, I don't know, I don't wanna say like trendy or chic, but it just, I feel like when everything matches, it looks kind of like a stage home and I want it to look a little more um, homey than that, I guess. So I really liked this weathered wood that this mirror had on it so yes this is from at home forty dollars so this is technically the first bedroom in our house
and it's a really good size. It has a nice window. It has a closet over here, and that closet is full of just junk right now, like wrapping paper, boxes, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not even gonna bother showing you that. But right now, this serves as the playroom slash my office, as you can see over there. And this is eventually gonna be Boston's room. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to try and figure out how I'm going to do that. But this is like what our walls looked like when we bought the house. Like none of the walls were actually painted. So this is like, you can kind of hear like the, how like chalky and like matte they feel. It's just not very cute. It's literally just stark white. But we are going to end up painting this room and turning it into Boston's nursery. So for right now, it is just right here. I have like all my stuff that I use to edit and film and all that stuff. I have sticky notes for things that I want to do and projects that I work want to work on. And then I actually bought this little um, shelf organizer from Target. I think it was like $30. And I just have some of Anastasia's toys in there. I think I'm going to put this in her room actually when we start converting this into Boston's nursery. I haven't really decided. Honestly, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but <laughs> it's going to have to be done. I have my workout stuff over there, and then we have Anastasia's like ice cream truck, and then her um, ice cream toy in there, and then this little table that my mother-in-law built her for her first birthday, and then another stack of books. She has books everywhere. That's what this room looks like for right now, but it is gonna be painted and have all of Boston's stuff in it <laughs> very soon. So, moving, <laughs> Anastasia's eating lunch over there just behind that wall. Um, Moving down the hallway, this is our guest bathroom. Nothing has really changed in here. Again, we need to paint the walls. I'm probably gonna update this shower curtain soon, probably at a shelf there. And funny thing about our house is that it did not come with toilet paper holder. So this bathroom doesn't have a toilet paper holder. We just kind of put it on the counter. It is what it is for now. We'll probably try and figure out a solution for that soon. But for now, this is our guest bathroom. I'm probably gonna update that, like I said. Paint this a new color, maybe add a shelf there, and then probably get a different rug as well. But nothing too exciting here. And then, going into Anastasia's room, we have some pictures right here, and this cute little sign that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this is Anastasia's room. And this was given to us. I love this bookshelf, but it was just given to us as a gift, so I don't even know where it's from, honestly. Um, so if I can try and find something similar, I will link that, but if not, I don't really know where it's from. But I really, really love it. It works so great for a bookshelf for her, and then there's also some storage under there, which I'll probably end up putting some of her toys in there when I start converting um, the front room into Boston's room. And then I got that hamper from Target. Her dresser and her crib set are from Target as well. There's like some stuff on the top of the crib because I used to put stickers there for how old she was. And one of the stickers just didn't come off. So I have to do like goo gone on that to make it go away. But this converts into all the way up into like a twin or a full size bed, I think. You just have to like buy the extra little pieces. So that's why we got that crib. And then this rocking chair is my absolute favorite. It's from Amazon and I really, really love it. We're probably gonna take this out once we turn her room into like a big girl room soon. I don't know exactly when that's gonna happen, but you know, within the next six months to a year, it, that's gonna be happening. These bookshelves, well, I shouldn't say bookshelves, we don't put books on them, but they're just like these little like floating shelves. I got them from Amazon. That is from Michael's, I believe. And then these two pictures on the wall, my mom just printed out like these printables that have little sayings on them in the colors of her room, so it's just like gray and pink. And then we have her back wall as a pink accent wall, and then it's just like an icy gray for the rest of her room. I think that's from Michael's as well. And then, I'm trying to think of what else. If there's anything else I can think of in her room that, oh, this little thing right here, this is from Amazon. This is actually technically like a mosquito net, but I thought it was cute as like a little canopy over her bed. So there's that, and then also her changing pad covers, I got them from Target, and then her sheets, that one in particular is from Walmart, and then she has like two or three other ones that I switch out that are from Target. So that is basically Anastasia's room, and again, I'm gonna have to try and find a way to rework this. Her closet is right here, and I guess I'll just show you guys real quick what how bad it is. All of her old baby stuff is down there. I have some of her clothes hanging there, but some more baby clothes up there, so. Tons and tons of reorganizing that I need to do in there and clear some stuff out. 
So I will be definitely making a video on that. So we will walk over here. And over here is our laundry room. Nothing has really changed in here. We moved um, Miko, our cat, his food bowl on top of his litter box because Anastasia would not leave it alone. So we had to put it here. And then we just added this baby gate. And eventually I wanna add some kind of shelf over top and then put like another shelf up here to put laundry baskets on. And then maybe a cabinet here or like vice versa. But there's still some stuff that I wanna do in here that has not been done yet. Right now it's just like a plain laundry room. And then this is our main living area. Oh, that's nice. Anastasia threw her lunch on the ground. <laughs> normally Anastasia is not, or Anastasia's chair, I should say her high chair is not normally, um, here. Is not normally right there. It's usually over in that corner, but we didn't really update too much in our kitchen. The only thing we really did, like the major update, is that we used to have a little black microwave there and it actually crapped out on us and we weren't planning to get a new microwave anytime soon. But since we were in the middle of kind of just like redoing and buying a whole bunch of things, we decided to get a new microwave. So we got a new microwave there. I think it's LG brand and it has cleared up so much counter space for us and this one works so much better. And I just like the way this one looks a lot better as well. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else major in here. I don't think so. I mean, we added that little coffee carousel over there, but that's about it. But this is our kitchen. I hate the way these little um, child safety ties on the cabinets look, but it is what it is. That's what you have to do when you have a toddler. So those are there for now. And then this is the chalkboard that I like to put like seasonal like pictures and quotes on. And I'll be changing that for Valentine's Day here very soon. These chairs are all from Ikea. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last house update or not, but these chairs are all from Ikea. And we really, really, really need new chair covers, but Ikea is so far from us. And to have anything shipped from Ikea is like $15. So it's just one of those things where we have to go out there, which is like almost an hour away. But we do need new ones really bad because Miko has scratched them up like crazy. We've had these since we first got married four and a half years ago. So I get they've held up pretty well. It's just, we need new covers. The chairs are perfectly fine, but the, the covers need to be replaced for sure. And then I showed this in my last house tour video. This um, table was given to us by someone that didn't want it anymore. I guess they bought it and decided they didn't like it. Ignore that, I need to wipe down my table, but you know, mom life, I'm trying to get as many things done in the day as possible. But, um, so I'm not sure where it's from, but it's a really good quality table and I really, really love it. And it actually has a leaf where you can extend it more if you want to. And then this little breakfast tray I got from Target Dollar Spot last year. It was $5. And this was given to us as a gift. And there's a bobby pin in here. And then I'm not sure where this is from. But I usually put um, some kind of seasonal flowers in there. So I'll probably be doing roses very soon since Valentine's Day is coming up. And I'm not sure if I talked about this or not. But Johnny got this for me for our anniversary. I think it was our second anniversary it's either second or third but this is one of my favorite things in our house it's just a map of the united states and then you can put like all these little push pins on the places that you have gone obviously we <laughs> don't get around to traveling very much but hopefully in the coming years there will be more pins on there but i just really love it i think it's gorgeous i want to add some curtains here i'm sorry the lighting is horrible and it's like not very bright but I wanna add some curtains here and then maybe some shelves here, like on this side and then on this side and put like wine bottles or something like that. All right, I'm trying to get the lighting to look a little better as much as possible, but it's hard when the light is coming in this way. But anyways, the next major thing that we did was take down these horrible plastic hanging blinds that came with the house. They were driving me crazy and Anastasia kept pulling them off so there was holes in them. So eventually I just got sick of it and we just removed the whole thing and we added a curtain rod and then these curtains from Amazon. And these are like, I think they're like 90% light blocking curtains. Like a little bit of light comes through, but they're not like blackout curtains, which I really like. And then they just have like a little gray design on them, which I think is really pretty and it matches pretty much any season. So that's one of my favorite things that we've changed. And then the next big thing that we did was our living room got a complete facelift like everything in our living room is pretty much brand new for the most part now this area is going to be resituated at some point i don't really like how this looks but 
it's not a huge deal. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I know that I do want to add a um, ladder shelf here. So we'll see if I can make that happen. And then on this wall, I do want to add like three, I think two or three floating shelves and put some artwork on there. Probably some pictures of like our family and stuff like that. But I got this lamp at Target. It was $60, I think. And this beautiful sign that says our family name on it was made by one of our family friends. And he makes tons of these signs and makes, I think he makes like other things too. Like, um, I think he makes like gun cases and like stuff like that. I could be saying it wrong, but I don't know. He makes a lot of handmade like wood stuff like that. And I will leave a link for his shop down below. His name's Jared. He does a fantastic job at it. I just, I absolutely love it. And it looks so good in our living room. So moving on to the next thing, the big major thing that we got that you can probably tell is different from my last house update is this couch. And this took forever for us to figure out what kind of couch we wanted because I really wanted a beige couch, but everyone was telling me that's a bad idea with kids and Johnny didn't want a beige couch. So we ended up settling on this. This is a dark gray, which I think it actually looks pretty good because the rest of our house is pretty light. So it doesn't really bother me that much that it's a dark color. And it's also nice that hopefully no stains will show up. We haven't had any stains on the couch yet. But we also don't really like eat in the living room ever, so that's a plus. But this couch was from Ashley Furniture. I will leave a link for it below. I think it was $1,300 after taxes, delivery, and assembly. So it was like $1,300, but I think before all that, it was like $1,100. So we really like it so far. This rug is like one of the most popular rugs on Amazon, but I thought it tied the living room together very nicely and it kind of matches the couch. So. Again, I'll link that below. I think it was $100, around $100, somewhere around there. All of this stuff over here, this entertainment center is from Amazon. That cord underneath needs to be tucked under. I need to do some organizing under here with all these movies. My mom gave me all of these old movies, but I wanna organize them a little bit better. And then I have my laptop situation there. That's a laptop I used to play um, video games on at night with Johnny. But I need to organize that a little bit better. And then this is Johnny's gaming desk. This. All of this was basically from Amazon. Um, the desk, the computers, the, or I shouldn't say the computers, the monitors, the computer, the headset, uh, the chair, the webcam, and the speakers were all from Amazon. This is an Xbox controller because he originally was a Xbox gamer and he switched over to the PC because he wants to get more into streaming. Basically all of this stuff is from Amazon for the most part besides, like I said, the Xbox controllers. Those go to the Xbox that we have over there but Johnny uses them to game on. But since he is a streamer now, he likes to use the PC to stream, but still use the controller, if that makes sense. To anyone who doesn't play video games at all, you're probably like, I don't care. But for anyone that kind of knows that world, that's the explanation for that. And then these floating shelves are from Amazon, and they're kind of like the wood, almost looks like a mix of like what the desk and this look like combined. And they're just a little more weathered. Like I said, none of the wood really matches, but it doesn't really bother me that much. I think that it looks kind of, I don't know, more homey. And I didn't want everything to be like super, super matchy matchy. I think that's very like, <laughs> like 2005 when every single thing matches. That's what this whole area looks like. And then I want to find a new place to put those. We have a storage closet up in the front by the first bedroom. And I think I want to add another shelf in there and put the blankets in there. But for now, they're just folded up next to the couch because you can't really see them when you walk into the living room. These pillows are from, I think this set right here. These two came in a set. These were $20 from At Home. I don't know if At Home has a website, and if they do, I'll try and see if I can find a link for them. That one was from Target, I believe, and I think that one was from Target as well. Hi. So that's where all of those are from. And then that blanket was actually made for us for our wedding by my Nana. And then this clock is like one of the newest additions that we got. I think we got this last weekend or the weekend before. And this is from Target and it was $42, I think. And I actually really, really love it. I've been having a really hard time finding a clock that I actually liked. Again, kind of like the whole mirror situation. It's just been really hard to find one that kind of fits our style and is not $8 million. So I was very pleasantly surprised when we saw this and then we hung it up and I just think, it looks really, really nice, and it kind of helps pull the living room all together. But again, adding some shelves there to kind of add some stuff to this wall because it's like completely bare. 
And I want to say that is it. Yeah, so I think that's basically it for this updated house tour. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I am not an interior designer by any means. I just know what I like and what I see on Pinterest. And I try and make those like styles and things that I like as budget friendly as possible and make it work for our house. This is not our dream house by any means and we'll probably only be here for another couple of years. So all of this could change like within that amount of time. So we'll see. But I'm just trying to make it look as like customized to our style and personality as possible because we had an apartment before this and we didn't really get to decorate it how we wanted to. But I will try and link as many things as possible for you guys in case you guys are trying to update your house and you're wondering where I got certain things. I will put all of that down below. Oh, and then I did want to mention that you guys are probably wondering, what about your master bedroom? Our master bedroom definitely got a huge, definitely got a huge, facelift however there's still just one or two more things that i want to like put in there and like finish up and then i'm going to be doing a completely separate video on that because if i added this into this video this video would probably be like 30 minutes long so i'm going to be doing a master bedroom tour very soon as soon as i'm done like putting all the things in there that i want probably within the next month or so if i had to guess but that is coming soon. So anyways, I'm sorry if this video seemed a little rushed. It's just kind of hard to like film this kind of thing when Anastasia is awake, but I'm trying to make it work and get it done. That is going to be it for this house tour video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.